Hey RDI, Jace Mullins here, your Live Well Director, coming to you live from my kitchen. Uh, I cleaned it up just for you, so don't judge me, okay? Um, so I'm here today to check in with you guys, see how everything is going. Um, I just wanted to check in and see how your resolutions are going and let you know how mine's going. I started this year wanting to lose 20 pounds and I've been running back to back days, drinking lots of water, doing everything I can, getting that healthy lifestyle back. And I've lost a total of, let's put a drum roll sound effect right here. One pound. That's right, that's right, that's okay. One pound, it is better than nothing. I am proud of myself for changing my lifestyle because like I said earlier this year, I've just been eating better, drinking more water, making the time to go to the gym and just better myself overall. And I'm just happy that I'm getting back on that lifestyle. I just feel better in general. Um, it, I feel better about myself. I feel healthier. I feel like I just have more natural energy uh, just from changing my diet and exercising. So highly recommend, but that's enough rambling. That's not what I wanted to talk to you guys about today. Today, I wanted to talk to you guys about getting in the habit of drinking, you guessed it, water. If you're someone who's trying to lose weight, I can't recommend enough to cut out soda pop entirely and just start drinking water. It is so good for you. It has so many benefits. Uh, not only does it keep you hydrated, obviously, but uh, when I quit drinking pop and just started drinking water, I felt uh, my skin just felt better, it felt cleaner, it didn't feel greasy from all the sugar and soda pop. I just felt better, I just felt healthier from switching to just drinking water. And if you're someone that struggles with giving up things like soda pop or things like that, uh, it's okay to have one every now and then, as long as you're on the right track and you don't get back into the habit of drinking soda pop all the time. Here's a cool app I wanted to show you guys. So it's just called the Water Drink Reminder. Uh, there's a bunch of water apps that I found, but this one was green and it was at the top, so I picked that one. Uh, anyways, we're going to open it up and it's going to take me here to my uh, drink log, I believe. Um, you can tap the corner and it shows you all these options. Yeah, this is the drink report. Um, so it shows me, I log my entries daily of how much water I drink. I try to do it as I go, that way I don't forget. Um, but you can see here, I'm still trying to get back in the habit of drinking water regularly. And you can see that some days I have my ups and some days I have my downs. So if you go over here to the drink water tab, I'm going to go ahead and just put in an entry. And I just finished my water bottle, which was 33 fluid ounces. So there we go. 1035, I drink a big bottle of water. Also, I highly recommend that you get a water bottle of your own. That way you don't have to use plastic bottles because they're bad for the planet. And I don't want to see bad things happen to dolphins. Do you? So yeah, get a water bottle. It lasts way longer. You can definitely hold more water in it. And it's just, I don't know. I like, I like the little loop here. I can carry it around. Ugh, just so convenient, guys. Just so convenient. That's all the time we got for today's episode, everybody. Thanks for joining me and listening to me talk about water as if you've never heard of it. And lastly, guys, we have our Live Well Facebook page, so you can go ahead and join our group. Uh, we post a lot of our success on there. I love to see that everybody on there is uh, posting their exercises or things that are having for like dinner, a healthy dinner. It's super cool to see. I love seeing the engagement on there. So until next time, guys, I'll see you next time. And remember to hashtag leave it better. You got it. Did you say it? Cool. See you next time.